Hey guys, it's Hannah here and welcome to day 5 of Christmas Countdown. The day this month is going to go by very quickly because there are lots of videos for you all. Um, again, sorry about the face. I'm not really sorry, but that's just the way it is. Okay, so today's video is my top 5 makeup items. This is kind of the Christmas holiday edition. Also kind of summer edition as well. So I'm going to show you f f 5 makeup categories that I think are really important in um, when you're doing kind of Christmassy or summery depending on which way you want to go. For me it's both. If you're in the summer southern hemisphere it is for you too. So I couldn't narrow it down to five items but I've narrowed it down to five categories that you definitely need in your collection when you're coming into the Christmas summer period especially if you're in the southern hemisphere. Okay the first is a primer. Obviously Find a primer that works great for you, um, but a primer is really good at keeping your makeup on, especially um, parties in um, the holiday season. You get a lot of parties. Um, again, hot weather in the Southern Hemisphere. I love the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer because it keeps me matte throughout the day because I do have reasonably oily skin, but it stops the oil um, right when I put my makeup on, so it doesn't actually come through to my makeup, so I can kind of get a glowy skin without being oily, which is what I really like. So I really love the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Speaking of glowy skin without being oily, I have a foundation combination that I love. I'll take this one out of the packaging. I just love the packaging. So, very, very different ends of the spectrum in foundations. The Covergirl Artless Stay Fabulous Serene one and the YSO La Tente Touche Eclat. Well, wow. One of the drugstore that's like $20, $18. This one's like $60 something or $50 something at... David Jones or Maya or Mecca, wherever you get it. I actually really like mixing these together. The YSL Le Tonto Chocolat is amazing for me in winter when I get my skin's more normal. But I prefer a glowy look in summer. That's just the way it is. You like the glowier skin in summer, but unfortunately my skin is really oily. Which is where this comes into play. The um, CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous is a matte finish foundation. So when you mix it together... It keeps your skin matte because it's got the Stay Fabulous, which is great um, at staying on all day. But you still get a bit of the glow from the La Tente Touche Eclat. Now, I'm in the shade BD20 and... What is this? 810. Pretty much the same colour. This one's a little bit more yellowy. I can kind of go either way because I have a neutral skin tone. But for me, these are great colour matches in the summer. In winter, they're a bit dark. I am still really pale. So that is my kind of skin combination favourite when it comes to the summer kind of glowy look. And, in, and in, at Christmas you want that kind of angel-like glowy look as well. So again, this is amazing. If you want any drugstore alternative, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi I've heard is really great, but I actually haven't tried it. Okay, for us summer girls, I need a touch-up powder. And obviously my favourite is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I know, I'm wearing a glowy foundation, but um, the you get the glowiness coming through even when you set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte. It keeps you matte throughout the day, but you get that glow. So strange, but that's just the way it is. Um, if you want even more of a glow, you can add in a liquid highlighter, which like benefits High Beam, Napoleon Radiance Boosting Primer, um, the... Revlon Luminous Lights or the Lights Photo Ready Light or whatever it is. I don't know. But I love my Rimmel Stay Matte, especially for touching up throughout the day so that my makeup stays perfect and flawless. Okay. Obviously, in the kind of festive season, you need a good red lip. You guys know what I'm wearing already. It is Xenia by Napoleon Purtis Divine Goddess, which is like really pretty red. But I have a couple of options for you, depending on what kind of tone you like. So this is Zinnia. Okay, don't get Zinnia lashes. Get the Zinnia. Zinnia lashes, Zinnia lipstick. It's confusing, right? Um, if you're looking for more of a matte finish, um, you can either get Veronica, which is the exact same colour but in a matte, or Marlene, which is just a slightly darker tone. Again, from Napoleon Purtis in the matte-tastic range. Or you can go for Max Ruby Woo. I have Ruby Ruby Woo, which is the same colour, a little bit more blue tone though, and really very matte. I prefer the matte-tastic formula. It's not as drying. Again, if you want a matte finish, 
can go for Wet n Wild 911 D Spotlight Red, which is even creamier than the MAC. So I actually prefer the Wet n Wild over the MAC as well. This is a bit more pink toned. I don't know if I'm smelling the MAC lipstick or the Wet n Wild. It smells good. It's much more pink toned, but it's a really gorgeous colour. Back to the high end, the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense in 43 if you want to go creamy again. Again, it's a bit darker. And back at the drugstore, a gorgeous creamy lipstick is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Big Cherry. And if you wanted to go, see, that's like ridiculously shiny. Or you could even go for the Revlon Lip Butter in Cherry Pie, which my sister has stolen off me. Or Red Velvet if you want the darker one. And you want a sheer colour. I love my red lips. And when you're wearing red lips, you need a really good lip balm to go along with them so that you don't get dry and chapped. Um, I just love the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. They're incredibly moisturising on the lips. Um, they smell divine. I just put my cap back on. I can still smell it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love them. Um, any um, lip balm that you prefer. I love the Nivea Lip Butters in the pot. Not as sanitary. Prefer it at night because if you're putting it under a lipstick, it's a bit too emollient. Um, so it's going to slip around a bit and I prefer my red lips to stay. And yes, if you guys um, want to know lip liners that I love as well, check out the red lip tutorial from day three. Okay, so that is my top five, five, five makeup items for the summer Christmas season. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more top five makeup items, check the links down below for the other girls doing Christmas countdown. And yes, I'll also have them linked at the end of the video. Um, click subscribe and buttons right here. It will keep you up to date on all Christmas countdown videos. I also have a playlist linked down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Bye.